Hey guys, just got me a new toy for the Ace Microbrewery. Uh, got me a Matt Mill Louder Helix 1000. This is used to replace, you guessed it, this crappy strainer. Uh, I noticed it was draining super slow last time, even after whirlpooling, and the weight of my chiller is kind of bending it slightly, so I was worried about the long term. Now, some of you probably don't have a problem with this. Um, putting hops in a bag and whatnot, but I uh, went to upgrade because it was draining so slow. I uh, got it installed already. Um, I'll show you real quick how it works. So you have basically like a coiled spring, and you can actually cut it to size. So if you want, if you want it to fit perfectly, there are ways to do that. There's just a little T there. You can just unscrew it from there and and go to town on it. Whatever. Um, I'll show you real quick how I installed it. It it just screws onto this T here. So the one that you want is the Louder Helix 1000 BSP. Uh, the national pipe thread is for um, for the U.S. Obviously, so um, it's included with two washers. You get this, then you get this, and then this fitting, which are not compatible. Uh, you can save that for whatever. Um, to install it was pretty easy. There's the valve. Just unscrewed the nut from the inside. And it took some finagling, but once you get the, the nut loose, you just turn the valve onto here. And as some of you know, there's just enough thread for it to fit. So it does feel quite secure, actually. Uh, as long as you put this washer on the inside, you know, make sure it seals up there nice. You don't have to screw it on too tight, just hand tight is fine. Um, and then obviously make sure that that valve is nice and tight up against the, the wall there. Because there is a washer that runs along the inner circumference of this piece. It's a recessed uh, area for a washer. So just make sure that part is tight with the nut. Um, yeah, so I will report back on brew day. And... I'll let you guys know. Thanks for watching.